Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we have 14 game changing mods that you will have no choice but to download once you see them. Before we dive in though, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you love RDR2 mods as much as me, or if you're new to modding and want to learn how to mod your game yourself. But without further ado, let's get started. Our first mod is called the Sadie Adler Project, and this mod allows you to play as Sadie Adler with the working voice lines. So you're able to talk to some NPCs, all in Sadie Adler's voice lines. It even works in combat situations and while riding your horse. The Sadie Adler project is so detailed that voice lines even change based on the time of the day. You're able to use this mod during your story mode playthrough, but the scripted encounters will still have Arthur's voice. But I'd say that is a fair trade-off. You even have access to 30 plus outfits for Sadie. You will need Rampage Trainer for this, but once you go into the player menu and then into the wardrobe, you just need to go down to the outfit variation and you can change the outfit on the fly. So whatever version of CD you're looking for, you'll be able to change that outfit whenever you want. Definitely a cool mod to play as your dream cowgirl. This next mod will actually give you a reason to explore New Austin. And this mod is called Lost Treasures of New Austin. This mod brings back hidden treasure chests from Red Dead Redemption into RDR2. This essentially brings back the treasure chests you can originally find in New Austin from the previous game into RDR2. You have 125 locations where these chests can be found. And in order to reach them all, you'll have to explore towns, the various settlements, or even platform your way up on the side of a cliff in order to reach the chest. The only question is, will you be able to find all 125 locations? There may even be some expansions coming out in the future, such as adding treasures to Mexico, the Grizzly West, and even Guarma, which would be pretty exciting. Our next mod brings in a feature you could only do on Red Dead Online, and this is called Equine Assistance. This ports the ability to pick up herbs from horseback. You'll see blips on your map icon, and now while on horseback, you'll have a prompt to pick up herbs. So once you click on the prompt, your horse will grab the herb, and then you'll grab the herb from the horse. It'll give you an amount anywhere between one and three of those herbs, but this definitely makes it convenient so you can collect seamlessly from your horse instead of dismounting every time. The next mod is another port from Red Dead Online, and this one is called Equine Ducking. This mod brings the ducking and dodging mechanism from RDO into single player. So while you're on a horse, you just need to hold the aim button and then the jump button. Whatever side you're aiming on, you will duck to the opposite side, helping you to dodge potential bullets. Next up, we have a mod called Llama's Police Overhaul. This is an overhaul of the police system and guard response that has more emphasis on stealth and evidence-based responses. So now police and guards won't automatically know your location without evidence. It'll be harder for the police to see you if you're crouching, as well as a bunch of other tweaks. There is a whole page of various adjustments for you to go and read, but the overall aim of the mod is to make stealth as viable as possible. So getting out of the line of sight of the police officers or gaining a height elevation advantage, it will actually be viable to stealth your way out. So definitely give this overhaul a try if you're looking for something a little bit different. Next, we have a rather handy mod, and this is called Pimpin's Weapon Compatibility Pack for YMs. This mod essentially allows you to use YMs DLC with a few of the popular gun mods, so you don't have to fiddle around with the weapon.ymt files. So you'll be able to use six weapons with the YMs DLC, such as the AK-47, allowing it to be fully automatic. You'll have access to the Pit Viper, which you can't go wrong with that. The Colt Python, the Spaz 12 shotgun, equipped with the eight round magazine, and of course the Uzi. And this gun is a doozy. This one is fully automatic as well. This comes with the M4 Benali as well from John Wick, but for the life of me, I can't get the textures to appear. Now this is only compatible with the YM's DLC version, not the enhanced edition or the RDO offline edition. So be wary of that. But this definitely makes it easy to have different weapon files in combination with YM's DLC. Now our next mod is a new Euphoria Physics mod. This mod is called A-Rep. This mod adds completely recreated shot reactions inspired by Max Payne 3. Now it's tuned for the Western experience, but it has a more exaggerated style. So you'll see reactions you haven't seen before, giving your gunplay a new feeling.
These are 14 mods to really spice up your gameplay. If you enjoyed today's showcase, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be back next time with even more mods for RDR2. So until then, we'll see ya.